In this video, I'm going to introduce you to my favorite medicinal plant, yarrow, and let you know some of the things that you can use it for. So I'm here in my back garden with this wonderful plant, yarrow, which many of you may recognize as a weed, but not necessarily know the name of. Yarrow's been used for thousands of years as a healing plant. Legend has it that it actually got its scientific name, Achillea millifolium, as the ancient Greek hero Achilles used it to heal his troops. In Iraq, it's actually been found in Neanderthal burial sites, which date back 60,000 years. So it shows that it's been used for a very long time. Native Americans actually used it for stomach pain, toothache, earache, which shows that it has a whole host of different healing property. In modern day, its medicinal properties are actually appreciated in many European countries such as Germany and Switzerland. Research has shown that it's got many anti-inflammatory, antibacterial and antifungal properties. I've linked a paper below so you can read through this list of properties at your own leisure. I actually use it for three things, healing wounds, stomach aches and reducing fever. So how do we identify it? So the first thing to note is that it's currently November and it's probably not the best time to be showing you this, but as it's still around, I thought I'd take the opportunity. So the first thing that you'll notice about the plant is that it has these feather-like leaves. And I think the feather is the best way to describe them. So they're quite dainty and there's not much else that looks quite like this. In the spring and the summertime, it comes out with this lovely white umbel, which you can see here. This one's past its best, but you get the general idea. At this time of year, you may not get that white umbel, um, but what you will see is these leaves. And it's really quite distinctive. These leaves can grow five to 20 centimeters, something like that. So sometimes you'll see quite a small specimen, other times you'll see something much larger. In my garden here, these ones grow to be almost a metre tall, some of them. But generally when you find them in grass verges, they're only a few centimetres high, maybe 20 centimetres high. The great thing about yarrow is its simplicity of use. If you're out and about somewhere, maybe you cut yourself or have a small wound, what you can do is find some yarrow, grab a couple of leaves, chew them up, <laughs> and um, rub them on the wound and plug it, maybe put a plaster over it, and that should speed up the healing process. I also mentioned that I use it for stomach aches and bringing down fever, and the only thing you need to do there is make a tea out of it. So grab a few leaves, or even the umbel, the flowers, and boil them up for a few minutes and drink, and it's as simple as that. Just make sure you identify the plant properly, and if you're not sure, just leave it alone. I was actually in the kitchen recently and sliced my finger open, came outside, grabbed a few leaves of yarrow, chewed them up and plugged the wound. And this is very anecdotal, but that wound healed up very quickly and very neatly. One thing to keep in mind that it has been used to aid abortions previously, so make sure that if you're pregnant, you stay away from it. And that's a very quick introduction to yarrow. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe and see here for my latest video. Cheers.